there is a sea that is actually a continent surrounded by lands. A continent unique in the world, where different peoples and cultures have always met, whose borders are the theater of migration, old conflicts and new tensions. It is a sea crossed by a dense network of roads where ideas flow, energies are shared and new stories begin. Mediterranean, a frontier of peace, education and reconciliation, is an opera segno owned by the Italian Bishop Conference in collaboration with Rondine Cittadella della Pace, whose main goal is to generate impact and create new energies. The program is an advanced training course for 11 young people coming from five different countries. It's based on Rondin method for the creative transformation of conflicts and included leadership sessions and workshop on management and design of projects in order to acquire general skills to manage a high social impact initiative. After one year here in Rondine, the 11 young professionals went back to their countries to generate impact with their projects. In Lebanon, Daisy, Roa and Natalie address to conflict transformation and anti-corruption. As part of the Mediterranean project, in collaboration with NDU, I decided to implement a project on anti-corruption in Lebanon. Because in a country like Lebanon, where the youth are given no opportunities for their future, where they are suffering in their present because of corruption, they deserve to learn about this topic. As I discussed the matter of corruption with students from all over Lebanon, I was able to see how little knowledge they have on the subject. They were able to finally start to visualize what is corruption, what it causes, and how it is slowly but frequently affecting them. After the discussion, I received a lot of feedback, especially from students who are still in school, while asking me what did I study to do what I'm doing now. So knowing that I came from a legal background, they all told me that they have considered this major and now I have given them this push to even consider it for their future. I am working on an experimental research project with NDU and Rondine. It's about including conflict transformation methods in the curriculum of schools in Lebanon, secondary schools. I'm working with my colleague Natalia Abdallah. I took care of the research part, which consisted of interviewing and data gathering through a test that was given to students before and after our workshops. Our lecture explains what is conflict and how it would life be without conflict, so uh, to let the students know how to use a conflict as an opportunity. We also talk about ways to manage conflict and the steps to actually uh, reach a win-win solution that suits both uh, sides. To know more about this uh, topic, some uh, students asked for my contact and they actually contacted me after. It was good to see the impact our project was having on the students and the institutions. I think this is in itself a proof that our project was impactful and that we should continue to advocate for the inclusion of conflict transformation methods in uh, the school curriculum. In Syria, Jacqueline and Russia try to rebuild a bridge between society and young people. المشروع اللي عم نعمله هلا مع المد هو عباره عن تاسيس مركز شباب هالمركز الشباب بيحتوي 100 شاب وصبيه من الشباب السوري عم بيكونوا موجودين كل يوم بالمركز من الساعه 9 الصبح للساعه 4 بعد الظهر 100 شاب وصبيه اللي اخترناهم 50 منهم عم بيكونوا عم بيتعلموا حرفه دمشقيه قديمه اللي هي حرفه العجمي وال50 الباقيين هن عم بيكونوا عم بي يحضروا ورشات لبناء السلام حتى نحن نغير بالتفكيرهم واخذين من روندينا ميثود الجلسات عم تكون حول المواطنه البناء السلام حقوق الانسان كيف نحن فينا نعيش على ارض وحده سوا In Palestine Majdi and Nermin help young people with training and education The project sports for education main goal was to create a new kind of sports academies in Palestine that focuses on the personal and social development of each child who participates in those academies, rather than creating sports champions or professionals. 
During the trainings of the project, the children learn different values and skills. They learn how to play in a team, how to build peaceful relations uh, with each other and with the other teams, and also how to solve any conflicts that arise during the playtime. Other important part of the project were the coaches. We had 13 coaches during the year who got training on the sports for social development approach and on how to use the sports session to teach those social skills. So I met uh, Rondine through my parish because they are partners and the idea of the project was developed before I was uh, here. Uh, we thought that we should do something about the youth and technology. These days the youth are sometimes misusing technology, not using it to its full potential, to their benefit. So we thought of doing a small room in our parish where they can come, learn uh, technological uh, skills and allow them to think more broadly of the world. The tutors of the project are actually uh, people from the town who are graduates with no job. So it's also an opportunity for them to gain experience, to put on their CV. It's a win-win situation. The tutors will earn experience, the youth will earn skills. In Bosnia Herzegovina, Amina Nadezda touched the legacy of war and worked on interreligious dialogue. In our country, you have three different histories, and since that we have a conflict between three ethnic groups, uh, for us it's hard now to overcome everything that happened here in, during the war. So, uh, project Let's Step Forward Together uh, have a goal to contribute to peace building and religious dialogue in Bosnia and Herzegovina, to gathering young people uh, from different religious backgrounds. This project we will organize in the way that we want to gather young people through different activities and some of them are sport activities, interreligious seminars, interreligious camps. It's opportunity for them to uh, learn about each other customs, traditions and also to overcome some prejudices they have. This project is opportunity for young people who are coming from ethnic groups who were in conflict in the past, now they are together, working together and give example of coexistence. The main goal of my project, uh, as I learned in Rwandan Out, is really to bring people together so that they can meet, so that they can uh, listen to each other and try to understand how others are feeling about some war events or post-war events. So during the workshop, um, we were using image theater, kind of, uh, let's say, methodology, where we are using our bodies to explain to the others what do you think or how do you feel about some memory or some event or some object. This is my monkey. This is my brother. <laughs> they would start, you know, understanding actually how it's, it, it's not that easy to go inside someone's memory. In order to have, you know, peace, we, we really have to listen to other stories. I'm aware that we cannot stop the conflict, they will always be there. But the importance, I mean, what Randinet uh, taught us is actually that we can transform it into something positive. The network created among participants is a very important asset of the Mediterranean program for Rondinet. There is always new projects to discuss, new ideas, and also new people to meet here. You know, somehow the MAC project, uh, you know, sees the distance between our countries. It's very important that this experience provided us with the chance to create a strong network between us, the opportunity to visit each other in our countries, to share information about our activities, and to work together towards future projects. Projects like this help Rondine to have a real and solid impact on territories. This is how we make our vision tangible. L'impact of Rondine è il cambiamento della persona nelle sue relazioni perché se cambi dentro una relazione e percepisci come cambi e cresci dentro una relazione questo te lo porti dietro ovunque è la competenza relazionale 
portarsi dietro ovunque vuol dire fare impatto, cioè cambiare le relazioni. I ragazzi di Rondine in genere e i ragazzi dell'Opera Segno del Mediterraneo stanno facendo questo.